Hi everyone, this is Diane. I just want to do a quick video of some junk journals I made using some tea boxes. I don't generally drink tea. Sometimes my kids will. Uh, my son loves green tea and my husband and my daughter will drink regular sweet tea. Occasionally I'll have a glass of it very rarely. But when I was over looking at the tea and stuff, I saw these really pretty um, boxes. This is pomegranate green tea, which I might actually try some of that because I love pomegranates. And then this one is just plain green tea. Um, they're both by Arizona Company. And the boxes were just so pretty, I just had to get them. I figured my son will drink at least the plain green tea. If he might like the pomegranate too, I don't know. But I'm going to do a video on these. And I hope I can do both in one video. If not, then I will... Um, do them do another one of the other one but I will start with this one first of all I got this just set this little clip on here I forgot to clip something in the book but I just mainly wanted it to hang these little dangles on here with I put some bling across here and a little blingy here and some bling across the bottom here and then I had this little gizmo it was on a um a pencil case I had and I thought oh that would look good on here so I took it off so I haven't been using the pencil case that much. Put some of this organza. It's a peach color. It's hard to tell, but it's a light peach color. And then I have this dangles right here was actually a necklace. And actually these two pieces were part of the necklace too, but I took them off. And so I hung them on here. I love this flower right here. I don't know if you can really see it real well, but it's a flower. It's really pretty. And then I just tied it with this little organza ribbon because it tends to want to flop open. I might put a different kind of closure on there. <laughs> haven't quite made up my mind. So let's go in and see. Inside, um, on the front and the back, I put this, well, I'm trying to get it to focus, put this birdhouse um, paper. It's a book I have that has birdhouses, butterflies, and birds in it. Mostly a lot of butterflies and I thought the birdhouses looked good with the oriental and the gold. This paper, a lot of the little papers in here, came from Lisa Rods again, who has a YouTube channel. She um, was moving, and she was giving away a lot of her supplies, and she sent me a big box full of stuff. She has some beautiful hand-painted and hand-dyed papers, and this was one of them. I love it. The video just doesn't do it justice it looks kind of orange in the video but it's really more red really red so that's the first page and then there's the back that's kind of a watercolor paper i guess and then i have a piece of ledger paper and then i just put cut up one of the baseball um collector's card pages and made um left two of them together and made a little pocket there to put a picture or something in this is an old envelope, and I have just a piece of paper in here for journaling. And then this is another piece of a paper that Lisa Rods again gave me. And Lisa gave me this one too. And then on the other side of it, um, I don't know if she gave me that tea bag or not. She might have, but anyway, I washi taped that tea bag on there and then put this little card in it. I already had the card, so that makes a nice little journaling spot and then this is just a piece of um, cross stitch paper it's graph paper but it used to make cross stitch designs on it years ago I used to do cross stitching another piece of paper from Lisa Rods again um, this is from Lisa Rods again very pretty very pretty and then this is some music she gave me a, some a book of music and I love the notes I mean it's just some intricate piano music. I could never play that. I can barely play the basic notes. I love the music. And then this is a piece of origami paper I had. And this is a piece of the paper from Lisa. And this is just some yellow paper I had. And then this is a card that I had gotten. It says, Singing While the Dawn is Still Dark. Faith. That was a card that I got at dirt cheap, and I had to trim it down a little bit to fit in here. And then this is just some solid colored copy paper. And this is, I can't remember if that's from Lisa or not. I think it might be, or it could be some I had. I think it might be from Lisa. And this was a little card I had. This little piece was from Lisa. 
This right here is a book of matches that was in my dad's briefcase. It's very old. I took the matches out and then I put, I made this little bitty pocket and just put a little bitty tag in there to write on. So as Susan Zedlett always says in her little journals, it's just a little secret tuck spot for someone to write a little secret message. I love her journals and I got a lot of my ideas for her, for my journals from her. And then here's a paper clip with a little pearl dangle. And, sorry, that's the center of that signature. So you have just the opposite side of all the pages that were previous. A solid color. I'm just going to go through real quick. That's the back side of that card. And, the, you know, just the back side of all the pages that I just um, showed you. Love this, these right here that Lisa did. It's really pretty. It was really sweet of her to send me all that stuff. Still got gobs of stuff to put in stuff, and it's just so exciting. It's the back side of that envelope, and I just have some little note paper in there with little owls to, on it to write on. And the back side of the graph paper, and the back... Oh, this piece I, I glued onto this paper in here and folded. This is one that I just painted experimenting with some spray inks I had bought. Well, that was really pretty. And then this is the back of the red paper and I put another little paper clip with a little dangle. And then this is another piece from Lisa. And see, there's that ribbon I told you I glued down going right straight through the center of the um, thing. Or maybe I didn't tell you that. I put this ribbon through the center and it goes all the way around to the back and then I left some hanging. And then, like I said, this is a paper from Lisa that she painted in that beautiful colors. Just love, love, love the colors. And then I have a solid piece of paper, um, some graph paper. This is a clean air bag that what Lisa had gave me. And so I, I kind of cut it down a little bit and put it in here. And then I got a little piece of paper in here with a little fox on it. I thought that was cute to write notes on. And... Then on the back, I stuck this little stamp that was in some of the stuff that Lisa gave me. And this is some paper that Lisa gave me that she painted on. Beautiful paper. Just beautiful. And then this is a piece of vellum that Lisa had gave me. And a little orange piece she gave me. <laughs> yep, this whole book is just about piece, all pieces that Lisa gave me. And I think this was a piece she gave me too. And this one was also. And this is one of the packets that was in the green tea box that the green tea came in. So I cut it open and pour the tea out and put it in there and then this is a little piece of a uh, piece of paper that Lisa gave me and I just cut it a little bit to make a tag to go in well I can't get in there I'll put it back in there in a minute and anyway she gave me this paper and she gave me this and she gave me this and this is another little dangle and some more of the cross stitch graph paper and another little piece from Lisa and another piece from Lisa that's hand painted. And, oh, and actually it's glued to this piece, but it's kind of not totally glued. So you could really write on that and write under that too. And then that's the back side. See how it's pretty too. And then um, this is just a piece of paper that I had that I put in there. Yep, I actually had a piece. I think Lisa might have gave me that too. I'm not positive on that one. And this is just some paper I had. And another made another little dangle with a paper clip. This is another piece that Lisa gave me, and I made a little pocket and put a little tag. And that's a tag I already had, I think. Wasn't too much in this book that I already had. I used mostly everything Lisa gave me. Isn't that wonderful? And these are the back sides of all the paper that um that I just showed you the front of. And goes all the way through, all the way through. And then there's another dangle on a paper clip. And the back of that. And then on this piece, Lisa. No, I think I already had this piece. I'm not positive. Gosh, I've used so much paper lately. Anyway, I made a pocket on here and put all these little tags in it. And then that's the other side of it. And then... That's the other side of that vellum, and then here's, um, I glued this piece of paper in to the back of this, and it opens up, it unfolds, to write messages on, and that's the other side of that pretty piece, and then that's just the other side of that envelope, and I just have a tag in there to write on, 
and just the other side of all the paper and then I put a pocket there and this is just this was the end of the box that the tea was in and I just put some paper on the back of it and put it there for a journaling spot. Okay, that's all of that book. Um, I think I'm going to stop this now and I'll do the other book in another video because this one's already 10 minutes long and I don't want it to get too long.